Hello again guys. Here we're going to look at an interesting problem. It's a number theory problem. And we're looking to find a four digit integer n with the following properties. 1 n is a perfect square like 36, 49, 100, but we're wanting it to be four digits long. And also the number formed by the last two digits of n is exactly one less than the number formed by the first two digits of n. Example 1413. Now 1413 is not a perfect square so we can't use that. So that's not a valid solution. That's just an example. So now we will attempt to solve the problem to find out what solutions exist, if any exist. So the set of all possible qualifying four-digit integers we could have is as follows. From lowest to highest, we could have 1009. As you can see, 10 and 9 have a difference of 1. 9 is 1 less than 10. And the next one, 1110, 10 is 1 less than 11, and so on. 11 is 1 less than 12. So, so all of these four digit numbers qualify as candidates for our solution. Sadly, none of the digits listed there are actually valid solutions because none of them are perfect squares. So we need to do a little bit more digging to find any solutions. And the highest possible number is 9998. There are no four digit numbers greater than that which meet the conditions. Because the next number would have five digits and we're not allowed five digits. So the lowest it could be is 1009. The highest it could be is 9998. Okay, so that's great but we're still no, nowhere near solving it. So we still need to do a little bit of work. So let's carry on. Oh, hold on a minute. I noticed something very special about these numbers. They actually form an arithmetic progression with a common difference of 101. Now guys, if you don't know what an arithmetic progression is, it's basically a series of numbers all with a common difference like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 if you count from 1 to 10 that's an arithmetic progression they all have a common difference of 1 so these numbers here starting from 1009 all the way up to 9998 they all have a common difference of 101 and you can quickly check that so that 101 is very, very important, and that will help us solve this problem. So if we call our number n, this is the number that we're looking for. This is the four digit number where the last two digits are one less than the first two digits. And we know that it's square. So we can write it in the form n equals x squared, where x is an integer. Well then, we know from the numbers above that n equals x squared lives in the set 1009 all the way up to 9998. So it's a member of that arithmetic progression. Now there may be no solutions, there may be one solution, there may be lots of solutions. But if a solution does exist, then it lives in that set of numbers. So it's a member of that arithmetic progression. So x squared lives in that set. Now notice x squared must be less than 10,000 because obviously the highest it could be is 9998, which is less than 10,000. So therefore x will be less than 100. So that's a little fact that we will be using later on or we can use to rule out any invalid solutions. So now I'm going to do a little trick and this is a very beautiful trick 
And you might say, well, how did you come to this trick? Well, I'm not going to go into all the details of the trick. We can do that maybe in another video. But let's just say the trick works and it can be used in a variety of problems. Now, what we do is we are subtracting 100 from both sides. And that means we had x squared living in a set. So now we have x squared minus 100 living in a different set. So where does that live? Well, it just lives in the set of all those numbers above, but less minus 100. So that means it lives in the set 909 all the way up to 9898. We've had to subtract 100 from each of those numbers. So the lowest x squared minus 100 can be is 909, and the highest it can be is 9898. And you'll notice something even more special about these numbers. If you look closely, you'll notice they're all divisible by 101. So we can rewrite the set. We can factor out 101. So x squared minus 100 is equivalent to 101 times any number from 9 up to 98. So these are all our possible solutions. And we can rewrite that as 101y, where y lives in the set 9 up to 98. So, let's continue. So we now have x squared equals 100. Sorry, x squared minus 100 equals 100 and y, where y is any integer from 9 up to 98. If we factorize this, we get x plus 10 upon x minus 10 is equal to 101y. How did we get that? Well, if you notice, x squared minus 100 is actually a difference of two squares. x squared minus 100 is the same as x squared minus 10 squared. And if you notice, when you take a difference of two squares, it's x squared minus a squared is equal to x minus a times x plus a. And most of you should know that from your algebra courses. We can cover that in a separate video. But basically, it's a difference of two squares. Okay, so we're nearly home and dry. So now we have the expression on the left is equal to the expression on the right. x plus 10 times x minus 10 is equal to 101 times y. So that means either x plus 10 is equal to 101 or x minus 10 is equal to 101. If x plus 10 is equal to 101, then that means x minus 10 is equal to y. And if x minus 10 is 101, then x plus 10 is equal to y. But we won't worry about y at this stage. We could solve it that way, but I'm going to solve it through x. So these are our only two possibilities, guys. So we're nearly home and dry with the solution. So x can only take those two possible values. It's either 101 minus 10 or it's 101 plus 10, which means x is 91 or 111. Now, remember what we said earlier, that little fact where x squared is less than 10,000. So that means x is strictly less than 100 for, for all the conditions to be met. So that means 111 is not a valid solution. So we've only got one solution, guys, and that is x is equal to 91. Because x equal to 111 means that x squared is 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, which is a five-digit number. And we are only interested in four-digit numbers. So that's invalid. And then, as you would expect, x is less than 100 means 91 is a valid solution. And lo and behold, it's equal to 8281. And look at that. 81 is 1 less than 82. And that's no coincidence. And that's our solution. And that is the only solution. Why is it the only solution? Well, because x can only be 91 or 111. And we've ruled out 111, so we're only left with 91. So the answer is n equals x squared, which equals 8281. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again soon.